Today we will be wiring the Leviton 1000 revenue grade submeter to measure kilowatt hours generated by an inverter in a solar installation. This will be a three wire hookup, neutral, line one, and line two. Please refer to the installation manual for an explanation of warning symbols, safety precautions, material list, and mounting the enclosure. We will begin by connecting current transformers one and current transformers two to submeter panel. For the three wire hookup, you will connect to CT1 and CT2. Their current transformers will each have a white wire and a colored wire. CT1 will have a black wire and a white wire. CT2 will have a red wire and a white wire. CT1X1 and CT2X2 will always be the white wire. CT1X1 and CT2X1 will always be the colored wire. Connect current transformer 1 to CT1 and current transformer 2 to CT2. Next install the current transformers to the lines from the solar inverter to the circuit breaker. Open or disconnect the circuit from the power distribution system before installing or servicing current transformers. Make sure the current transformer is in the correct orientation with the line side towards the solar inverter and the load side toward the circuit breaker. With power to the conductors turned off, place current transformer 1 around line 1 and current transformer 2 around line 2. Confirm correct orientation of current transformers. Next we will connect power to the Leviton submeter, neutral, line 1, and line 2. Current transformers and voltage inputs must be installed in phase for accurate readings. Current transformer 1 on line 1 and current transformer 2 on line 2. Failure to install current transformers in the correct orientation and in correct phase will lead to inaccurate meter readings. Make sure the breaker chosen for line 1 to the submeter is on the same bus bar as the current transformer 1. With power on to inverter breaker and to the submeter breaker, check voltage across the two to confirm that line 1 from the inverter and line 1 to the submeter are on the same bus bar. If they are on the same bus bar, the meter rating will be 0 volts and correctly in phase. If your rating is 240 volts, they are in different bus bars and will be incorrect and out of phase. Now we will check to see which breaker to use as line 1 to the submeter for current transformer 1. We can see with no voltage reading that we are on the same side of the bus and in phase. With a voltage reading, the hookup would be on different bus bars, which would be incorrect and out of phase. And now check which breaker to use for line 2 to the submeter for current transformer 2. Now that correct phase has been determined, connect neutral line 1 and line 2 to the submeter. Make sure that the circuit breaker is turned off or disconnected before connecting lines. After neutral line 1 and line 2 are connected, power on breakers to test the installation. Test voltage across line 1 and line 2 to verify that the voltage across line terminals is not in excess of the maximum rated voltage as indicated in the installation manual. You should see an approximate reading of 240 volts across line 1 and line 2 and 120 volts across line 1 to neutral and line 2 to neutral. If the connections are out of phase, 
the red reverse phase indicator LED would illuminate. There must be a load drawing a minimum of 1 amp connected to the meter for the reverse phase LED to function correctly. If this LED is on, with sufficient load, power down the voltage supply and verify that the current transformers are installed correctly. Now we will switch the current transformers to opposite lines to see what happens when installed out of phase. We have incorrectly installed CT2 on line 1 and CT1 on line 2. Checking the submeter, you will see that the red reverse phase indicator LED is illuminated. Thank you for watching. If this was a helpful video, please give a thumbs up.